So over the course of the last couple of weeks, I've been actually doing like a blind ranking Call of Duties, like with different types of scenarios. And a lot of you guys have been giving me a lot of hate. So I was like, why not bring it into like an actual site? Do some Call of Duty, maybe do some other blind rankings. But we have blind ranking Call of Duty guns. We can do anywhere from item count to five to 10. So you know what? Let's blind rank 10 Call of Duty guns. First up, we have the DM56. And for some reason, I guess the gun is not really showing up on the left side. Usually there's like a picture with it. The DM56 is not a bad gun overall. MW3 wise and MW3, it's okay. Hardcore, this gun is actually amazing. It's just like a little tap, 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 tap. But overall, it's nothing great. I don't think it's even mid. I would put it below mid. I'm going to leave it at seven because there's definitely far worse guns. Like the MTZ, I think the MTZ is probably the worst. I guess maybe is it better than the sidewinder i'm trying to think i don't know if the sidewinder is better i'm gonna throw the mtc at 10 i'm just gonna do it i hope we don't get anything worse rival 9 exactly rival 9 is a great call of duty gun whether it's running gun whether it's even lasering someone from far whether it's rank it doesn't matter zombies it doesn't matter rival 9 overall is very very reliable i'm gonna throw the rival 9 at three three is a fair ranking WSP9, a lot of people think this gun is better. Uh, but also, I'm kind of like basing this off mostly multiplayer. I'm not a huge Warzone player. I don't play a ton of Warzone. I'm trying to keep in some in consideration of like Warzone as well. But WSP9, honestly, I'm going to throw it right behind the Rival. I think the Rival 9, I would rather go with the Rival 9. Now we have the MTZ 762. Honestly, a lot better than the other MTZ. There's like three different variants of MTZ. I'm throwing this MTZ in number six. Uh, right below... Actually... No, I'm going to throw a number five right in the middle because I think there's going to be other better guns like, for example, the TAC Iterator. I think this gun is better than the MTZ, but there's no way this gun is better than the WSP9 or Rival 9. I think I already messed up my list. Is it better than DM56? It is. I'm going to throw it at six. I, I think this ranking is bad. BP50 arguably could be number two. I'm going to put it at number two because it's definitely not worse than DM56 definitely uh better than the wsp9 is it better than rival 9 uh i honestly would say so i think bp50 could go number two spot honestly sidewinder okay number nine perfect don't need to really talk about it mcw number one best gun my favorite gun in mw3 original acr from the other og obviously mw2 mw3 call of duties mcw is just as good as the old acr thrown at number one number eight we get the Lockwood 680. Depending on if you guys use shotguns or you like Shockwood or Shockwood. If you guys like shotguns, honestly, this list is pretty good. Honestly, I really like that list. All right, we're doing another category. We are doing just video games in general. Okay, video games. WWE 2K. I don't know if I want to base this off of me actually playing them or like me seeing what the community thinks about them. I think I'm going to throw the WWE. I know back then I had so much fun. I don't know how it is now. I'm going to throw it at six. I know a lot of that's going to be controversial. Mortal, Mortal Kombat, grew up playing Mortal Kombat, loved Mortal Kombat. I'm going to throw it at four, nothing too high, because I think we're going to get a lot better. For example, Pokemon. Come on. Pokemon overall is easily a two. I'm throwing it at two. I don't know what other games we're going to get. Rocket League, I've gotten gold three in, uh, what is it called? Threes. So that's my biggest flex with this game. Overall, I think Rocket League is probably a top five game of all time, but I have a friend who's in the community, Ahog Plays. And it seems like he hates Rocket League. He hates it, but loves it. I'm going to throw it at eight. I think we're going to get a lot better games. I think there's going to be some worse. NBA 2K, I don't want to throw this at one, but I play so much 2K when it's basketball season. And like, for example, when it's football season, NFL season, I play so much Madden. I'm going to throw 2K in at three. Oh, this could be bad. Grand Theft Auto, okay. I know everyone should say one. I really did not play GTA. I'm going to be honest. I did not really play GTA, but the amount of videos I've watched GTA, especially from the Van Ness crew, makes me want to rank this high. I'm going to throw it at five. I mean, I can't really throw it much lower. League of Legends, I'm fine with throwing it at 10. Never played it. Probably never will. Minecraft, uh, are we going to get Fortnite? Because if I'm being honest, Minecraft is my favorite game probably of all time. It's the most replayability for games. It, I can do anything. I'm going to throw Minecraft N at one. Because if we do get Fortnite, old or new Fortnite right now is not really it. Old Fortnite, definitely it. Pac-Man, I'll, I'll throw it at 9. It was fun for a bit, but it gets boring. Call of Duty, okay, yeah. As you guys know, I'd probably throw Call of Duty at number 2. Okay, I messed up. And you know, I want to do this again. All right, CNC Generals. I've never played this game, but I've seen some game ads on it. I'm throwing it at 10. It's honestly, uh, right away. Age of Empires. 
Dude, this is like another like one I see of like me mean it. I give me an eight. There's probably gonna be something a little bit worse. League of Legends. Okay, depending on what we got so far, League of Legends could be a top three in this. But for me, I'm gonna say it's a seven. Honestly, starting off all bad Pokemon. Ugh, dude, I do love Pokemon, but we made the mistake of putting it at two last time. I'm gonna risk it and throw it at four. Among us. Okay, I do whenever I do play this game, I actually do love it. Is it better than Pokemon? Let's be real. No, but the Sidemen, when the Sidemen post Among Us videos, the greatest, greatest series of all time. I'm throwing this in at three. We'll throw one above Pokemon. Counter Strike, uh, played it for a bit. Overall, nothing too crazy. I'm, I like the games like Valorant a lot better. Uh, I'm going to throw in at six. I do think it's above League of Legends. Uncharted, uh, see, I know everyone loves Uncharted. And I've never played Uncharted. I'm going to throw this in at five, though, because I think Halo. Okay, I don't know what we're going to get. Halo's one. Halo will be one. Overwatch. Okay, this goes. I'm going to put Overwatch at nine. Whatever we get for two, this could be, honestly, a very, very good list. I'd probably throw Overwatch above Age of uh, Empires. But what do we get for two? The Last of Us. I've never played it, but everyone loves The Last of Us, I guess. Okay, honestly, what do you guys think of this list? I think it's not too bad. I'm trying to see what other categories are there. YouTuber edition. Blind ranking 10 YouTubers. Ali A. Oh, Ali A is such a classic. I, I have to throw Ali A. I don't know who's going to be on here. It says popularity of the UK and the United States. Ali A all time is just way too classic with Call of Duty, with Fortnite. I mean, he's been carrying and he's been doing it for so long and he's so consistent. I'm throwing him at number three. If you don't say he's top three, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what you're, you're going to think. Joe Sugg, though. Uh, I'm fine I'm throwing Joe Sugg at nine. There's going to be probably someone worse. Dude, perfect. Okay, great. Now, I want to throw Dude Perfect top three, but we can't use number two and number three already. But do we? Dude Perfect's been carrying everyone's childhood. Our entire childhood was like Dude Perfect. At some point, everyone watched Dude Perfect. Um, uh, I'll give him under Ali A. Jenna Marbles, 10. Okay. George Clarkey. Oh, I, I honestly have not watched his personal videos, but whenever he's in the Sidemen, he's one of the greatest additions, one of my favorite guests, probably a top three guest if I'm being honest. I love George. I'm going to throw George at six though. I don't think he deserves a seven. Ninja. Okay. If we're talking about YouTubers, I'm throwing him at eight. He's, I think of him more as a streamer. I don't really, I know he uploads some gameplay videos, but I don't really see him uploading anything crazy. If that makes sense. He's, I don't know. He's more of a streamer. If his streamers, he'd be up there. Harry Panera, ooh, Harry is also also a really good character, better than George. I'm gonna throw him at number five. I'm gonna give him the benefit because I've actually watched some Harry uh, videos. I've not watched any George videos, but which one's better as guests? Honestly, that's hard. I'm gonna throw Harry in at number five. Emma Chamberlain, never watched her. I know a lot of people love her. I'm fine with throwing her at seven. I'd probably throw Ninja above. Uh, Cloud Gain, you guys know I love Phase, but Cloud Gain overall. I'm, I'm throwing it at number two. Number one needs to save us, honestly, please. Cal Freezy. Cal Freezy makes banners now. He's honestly a great YouTuber. I actually love Cal Freezy. Honestly, also one of the, uh, my favorite Sidemen guests as well. But overall, this list is all right. There's definitely some people I would change overall. But yeah, overall, it's all right. We talked about Sidemen a lot. I'm going to throw the Sidemen videos into a blind ranking. Sidemen Tinder 2 dude all the sidemen tenders are so good if i don't throw it up high i feel like it's this list is just wrong i'm throwing it at four i honestly overall very good Simon back to school was really good had some great moments but as a video overall i don't think it's anything crazy i'm gonna throw it at number seven the weakest link Ooh, i see the, honestly my favorite uh sidemen videos are game show videos game show videos are honestly my favorite is it better than Sidemen and Tinder Real Life 2? Maybe the first one was so good. Ah, oh, dude, I'm having trouble. I'm going to throw in at 5. I don't think it's better than Sidemen and Tinder, but it has a, a chance. The Wheel, example, amazing game show. Absolutely loved it. The, the production for this video is also ridiculously like crazy high. I'm going to throw it at 3. I know a lot of people are going to say that's actually crazy because we have another game show. The Chase, which I think The Chase is better than the wheel and this video had so many classic moments and this video really showed all of their personalities i'm throwing it at number two i know that sounds crazy simon so 900 million dollar cruise ship hide and seek 
it's a hide and seek video i know a lot of people don't really like love them people hate them or love them i don't know i feel like there's always like 50 50 for both i'm just gonna throw this in easily at well not easily i shouldn't say easily i'm gonna give it an eight i i really did personally enjoy the video 20 versus one kai sonette now i know a lot of people said this should be one and it should easily be one for me honestly 20 v1s unless it's like harry or maybe like one of the side men doing it i really don't fully like care develop into it it sounds crazy i'm throwing in a nine i know a lot of get so much hate Simon family feud too i'm pretty sure this is what ruined the sideman right this is what started all the beef uh family feud overall is okay for a game show this was one of the game shows that i didn't fully enjoy so i'm gonna throw it a 10 i don't think there's gonna be any worse video we get Simon got okay never mind Simon's got or Simon's got talent youtuber edition i probably would throw this lower than Simon family feud too so i'm gonna throw it at six because it's definitely not number one definitely not better than any of these right here and i don't even think it's better than any of these maybe it's better than the Simon family feud too i don't know let's see what we get number one please tell me we got a perfect list honestly the start the start of everything really i would say the quote-unquote start of the sideman which sounds ridiculous and i know it's not the start but the start for like big production videos i feel like was because of this video right here also actual classic lastly we're gonna do build an nba team using 15 dollars i know most of you guys are sports fans obviously i'm a huge sports fan so i'm excited to do this pick one point guard so we only have 15 dollars Ooh. $5 John Stockton, $2 Marcus Smart's not bad, but $3 Drew Holiday, he's a two-time NBA championship. Any team you put him on, he's going to be amazing. Honestly, I think Drew Holiday is a pretty good deal. Pick one small for LeBron, Miles. Okay, give me LeBron. I'm spending my money on LeBron. I think that's easily got to choose LeBron. Uh, shooting guard, who do we have low? Jamal Crawford, three. Anthony Simmons, I don't really want. Ginobili, not bad. Edwards, D'Lo at three. I don't think this team's going crazy. I, we have, what, $8 in our budget. Do I spend a lot on Anthony Edwards? No, because I feel like we're going to get someone better. Give me Jamal Crawford. At his time, Jamal Crawford was really cool. Pick one power forward. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, Yeah, give me Porzingis. Build one center. Well, we're kind of screwed. Yeah, this team's not good. Biombo uh overall 82 average yeah team record 73 and 9 okay uh, definitely not a 73 and 9 i'm gonna do this one one more time pick a point guard give me oh shy at four is kind of lamello is kind of a steal at three dollars but curry give me we need shooting one small forward uh larry bird would be sick miles bridges harrison barnes was really good in his prime kelly Oubre not bad overall chris middleton's honestly really good for a value at three give me chris middleton pick one shooting guard uh kobe Ooh, no we won't have any bigs like any, all of our bigs are out of the way kevin herter for one dollar wait these are all five dollars but one what all right well then just give me kobe even though we don't have any money power forward caleb martin's not a bad power forward if i'm being honest and then at center we leave one dollar yeah, this team, okay, our front three carries, ah, uh, this team's not that good, if I'm being honest. Myers Leonard didn't get canceled for something. Give me Nick Richards. Yeah, 78 and 4, so we did do better. Let's go. Anyway, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I know this is a different type of video, please let me know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.